Hello and welcome to the 54th episode of Williams Whiteboard. As I always do, I like to take a quick moment just to say thank you to all of you that have come by, watched the videos, left comments, likes, and shares. I really appreciate the shares. So today on this 54th episode, I want to talk about the lesson I had to relearn about the voice of the customer. Yes, I want to talk about the concept of listening to your customer base and delivering what they're asking for. So over the last six or seven months, people have been asking me all the time, hey, William, what about the Think Acquisition t-shirt? Are you selling that thing? And I was like, no, I'm not really interested. You know, I am, I was like, it's very nice to be thought about, but not really interested in being in the t-shirt business, okay? Not really, I wasn't really interested in being in the t-shirt business. And here's why. I was thinking about it in the old school way. The old school way, the old school way is focus on buying the shirt, Printing the shirt, storing the shirts, collecting orders. I guess selling needs to come before that. Selling the shirt, collecting the orders, Shipping and handling on the orders. And then wrapping it up. Up the sales. Okay. When you think about the old school way, the customer is saying, hey, what about the shirt? And in my mind, I was thinking, oh, not good, not good. However, when I pose the question again, old school way, new school way, I pose, I pose the question to my daughter and said, hey, people are asking about the t-shirt. Is there something that we can do? And she found a solution online that Builds the store, sources the shirt, prints the shirt, collects orders, ships and handles orders, takes care of payments, and Sends proceeds all in one system. All in one system. The old way was I've got to do it all myself. The new way of thinking is there are systems and processes and resources available to deliver exactly what the customer wants. As you think about your business, and even in government, as we think about the customer experience, let's not get hooked into thinking of it the old way. The hurdles may be too great. Start with the voice of the customer saying, this is what I want. And then find solutions to deliver exactly what the customer is, customer is looking for. So thankfully, today, Think Acquisition has a store, the shirts can be sourced, the printing can be done, orders can be collected, shipping and handling done, payments made, and any proceeds sent directly to your bank.
Check out the link, the new school way for the Think Acquisition Store. And as you think about your business and you think about your service delivery, always remember the voice of the customer trumps. Okay? The voice of the customer is the voice you should be listening to to deliver on the promises of your new business, of your new service. Okay, your customer experience, okay? And the voice of the customer will always win. This is Williams Whiteboard, and this is the concept of the voice of the customer. Leave me some thoughts and comments on what do you think about the concept, the old school way of responding to the voice of the customer versus the new school way. In your business, you can find the new school way. Thank you so very much for your time. And as I always say, when you're chewing on a problem and you don't know what to do, grab a whiteboard and a marker and get after it. All the best. Be well. Bye.